With Mortal Kombat being right around the corner in just less than a month, and Notara's gameplay trailer has finally come out, being voiced by Megan Fox, what a baddie. The last character to be shown is most likely, not most likely, is going to be Reiko. Now, we have had a leaked screenshot of the full roster on Switch, which confirms that Reiko is going to be the last character. This confirms it, and also my video being taken down by Warner Brothers themselves when I had <laughs> uploaded the screenshot to YouTube. This just confirms that Reiko is going to be the last character. But there's one character on this screenshot, which is a question mark, that we still do not know who the character is going to be. So let's talk about it, and let's see which character is going to be the last character to be shown for Mortal Kombat 1 for roster. Now, when we talk about the last character being shown for Mortal Kombat, this character is going to be locked and the only way to even get this character is most likely by finishing the story mode or finishing their new mode that Mortal Kombat is releasing. It's the same way as Havoc. You see Havoc, how he's locked. Most likely you have to at least fight him or defeat him in battle and then Shang Tsung is obviously locked because you have to pre-order it. So most likely the last character is going to be unlockable by playing the story mode or by finishing the story mode which most likely isn't going to take that long but who is going to be the last character for mortal kombat i've been hearing a lot of people say it's going to be sonya blade it's going to be jade it's going to be noob cyborg so we can have all the seven ninjas in mortal kombat and i'm going to burst all your bubble this character is 100% basically confirmed already and it's going to be 100% Chronica. Now, with Chronica being shown in the first 17 minutes of the story mode for Mortal Kombat, we already know that Chronica is going to have an important role in the story. And most likely, every character that has been shown in the story has been playable. So why would they not do the same thing for Chronica if she's being shown in the first 17 minutes and she also has an important role in the story? As well as Chronica being the final boss in Mortal Kombat 11, but she wasn't playable every single time mortal kombat shows a new character or a new boss they're never playable in that exact game but the next game they're always playable and having chronica not be playable in mortal kombat 11 but she had one of the best fatalities in the game it feels like mortal kombat already had chronica being in the story mode since mortal kombat 1 has already been released every boss character that mortal kombat has shown has always been playable at a certain point in every mortal kombat game so it just shows that chronica is most likely going to be the final character for Mortal Kombat 1 that you have to unlock by playing the story mode. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be upset by having Chronica in the game, but I just don't understand. I think Chronica is an amazing character to add to the roster. If Gears is in the game, why do we not add Chronica as well? A character that wasn't even playable in Mortal Kombat 11. But again, you guys can tell me in the comment section down below what character do you guys think is going to be released as the final character. All the lights, all the stars are showing it to be Chronica, but if somehow it's Noob Cybot or Jade or Sonya Blade, you guys can come back in this video and leave a dislike. 100% is going to be Chronica. I would sacrifice my whole YouTube channel to tell you that's 100% going to be Chronica. I don't care what anyone says, but you guys can tell me what do you guys think about Chronica being in Mortal Kombat 1. I think this is a great addition to the game and it's going to be super fun to play here. But again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more Mortal Kombat 1 news and updates and combo tutorials because we're going to be spamming y'all with Mortal Kombat combos, guys, as soon as the game comes out. So again, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to get a free pub. See you guys later with some more Mortal Kombat 1 content. Peace, baby. Mwah.